Once you've got the rover unit set up, and you've set the antenna height, you're able to go off and start collecting data. So the Nomad units use TerraSync as their software. Now this is the same software that we've got on the Junos at King's College. You'll be able to use the Juno and the Nomad user guides that have been prepared in order to gain more information on how you can use the software. Now with the units you can collect points, slides or polygon features and a feature that we'll also look at in a moment is collecting between feature points. So here on the Tizal Gada site, which is uh, an archaeological and paleontological site, we've been using this to record archaeological finds such as stone tools or fossils. So these are one that you can see is cemented into this area here. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to log the point. In this case, this is over an area where Lane, our dating specialist, is going to be taking an optically stimulated luminescence sample so that we can get dates on this material. So when you're logging a point with the backpack unit, be aware of which side the antenna is on. So the antenna will roughly be in position, be in line with the back of your heel on that side. So you can then locate the point that you're actually taking a location over. And in the data menu, you can select whether you want it to be a point, a line, or a polygon. So we're just going to select a point here, and you just tell it to start logging. You can then fill in a name while it starts to log. So I'm just going to give this a, a name which corresponds with the, the current uh, sample that we're taking, the OSL sample. And when you're taking a point, you can take several points. So you can hear this logging positions in the background, and that will allow us to get a more accurate point. So I'm just going to allow this to log for, say, 20 positions. I press OK. And that point has now been stored with those 20 positions. And when we come to post-process this in Pathfinder Office, the software will refine the final position based on an average of those 20 positions. Now, another feature, as well as lines and polygons, which are very similar and you can see from the user guide how to use those, which is very useful, is if you have defined in the, um, in the settings, in the logging settings, to have between feature positions enabled, then you can record features as you walk based on either distance or time. So in this case I've got it set to record a point every metre. And this can allow you to walk a transect, say you wish to record your route, it will allow you to do that and record positions along the route. You could get an elevation profile, or in this case we're systematically walking the, the entire basin along space transects to get elevation readings along those transects, which we're then using as the basis for an elevation grid in later GIS analyses. So I'm just going to start to record this exposed feature here by walking along. As I do, you may just be able to hear the beeping in the background. So as I walk, the software is recording a point every metre that I walk. You can set this to be either in, in uh, metres or in seconds, and you can specify exactly the interval that you wish to record. So this is a very useful feature for recording as you walk and as we said it's very useful if you're recording multiple features along the way. So for example I have here a fossil. I could take a point over this fossil now and then continue and I will the between feature logging will still carry on so I'll have positions for every meter I've just walked and every subsequent meter. So it's very useful you can combine taking topographic data along the transect with systematic survey. And that's how we can start to log data using the Nomad.